Pakistan has a coastline of about 1000 kilometers long with an exclusive economic zone of 240000 square kilometers in the northern arabian sea having rich and diverse marine life Our coastal waters support a wide variety of fisheries including fin fish shrimps crabs seaweeds jellyfish and many other species which are of commercial importance they provide livelihood to the coastal fishing communities and a huge foreign exchange to the country The coast also supports rich and productive mangrove forest. In this delta has the world's largest arid zone mangrove reserve. This is not Amazon. These are mangroves of Port Qasim in Karachi. Where a large number of resident birds like flamingos Egrets, herons and migratory birds like gulls, terns and pelicans arrive in winter along the Indus flyway from Siberia. Mangroves act as a natural and first line of defense against tsunamis, storms and coastal erosion, saving billion of dollar. It has the highest carbon storage rate in the world, even greater than the rainforest. The economic benefits of mangroves are tremendous and the mangroves of Indus Delta provide us with a benefit of approximately 8 to 10000 dollars per hectare per year nurseries of fish shrimps and crabs and are important source of livelihood in our country for about 400000 people directly and nearly 1 million indirectly unfortunately mangroves are subjected to multiple threats due to human activities such as habitat destruction and pollution large areas of mangroves around karachi have been destroyed in the name of development such as industrialization port construction and urbanization bhai dekho maksad pehle to hum isi jagah se hi machhi marte the apna guzar karte the ab jab ye aalud ki ho gayi yahan ho gayi pareshani to hamara rozgar khatam ho gaya woh dekha jaye to aur zinda hum log un logon ne maar diya aalud ki wajah se ab hum ye jo log tafreeq karne aate hain उन्हीं को लेके फिर टाइम पास अपना गुजारा वक्त चला निकल रहा है वो हमको पता है इंडस डेल्टा मैंग्रोव हैव रिड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम 600,000 हेक्टेयर्स इन द 1950s टू बियरली 130,000 हेक्टेयर्स टुडे मेनी डेकेड्स अगो we had approximately 8 species of mangroves but now we are left with only 4 of them and the avicennia marina is the only dominant species right now in the indus delta
लिए आप अंदाजा करें कि सारा कराची में रोजाना पचपन करोड़ गैलन गंदा पानी गटर का पानी या सेवरेज का पानी आप उसको कहें वो बगैर ट्रीटमेंट के समंदर में बहा दिया जाता है जिसकी वजह से हमारे जो कुदरती पुराने नाले थे जो साफ पानी के जरिए होते थे वो भी गंदे हो गए उसके साथ साथ हमारे समंदर भी बहुत गंदे हो गए large quantities of toxic pollutants make their destination into the coastal waters of Karachi chemicals dyes organic matter and heavy metals which are directly discharged to sea from industries and domestic sources has destroyed much of the marine life dangerous pollutants like mercury and lead accumulate in the aquatic organisms like fish shrimps and crabs and come back to humans Food chain. The toxic metals are so dangerous that they can damage body organs, alter the behavior. affect the reproductive system and cause mental retardation in humans the quality of waste water is regulated through uh, through through the laws in sin it is called sin environmental uh, quality standards through which these these uh, the various characteristics various uh, parameters for instance bod biological oxygen demand chemical oxygen demand total suspended particles total dissolved oxygen these are controlled um, through 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 the laws of sin government uh, sin environment protection agency pakistan's largest cattle colony dumps its untreated waste directly in the sea near port qasim which has affected the marine life and aesthetic beauty of the mangroves from cattle colony there are a huge amount of dung that is a, that is a problem cause and buffaloes uh, this is a problem very huge problem that reduces the oxygen do oxygen dissolve oxygen in the water and this decreases the biota of, of the marine environment sustainability of marine biodiversity and mangrove ecosystem requires strong conservation measures and implementation of environmental laws the concept of sustainable development says that we have to develop in harmony with nature we have to protect our ecosystems side by side with the development every individual has a responsibility to fulfill and avoid marine pollution It's a crucial time to take action for the protection of our mangroves so that we can continue to get more and more benefits from them. So it is us who will have to conserve them from protecting our common future.